Hey guys, and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video for Friday the 13th. In this video I'll be covering hiding, one of my favorite things to do in Friday the 13th the game. One thing I want to mention before the video gets started is you have to get that first initial scream out of the way before you start hiding. So just run up to Jason, get the scream out of the way, then begin hiding. If you don't get that initial scream out of the way and you begin hiding and he's near you, you'll just scream out and he'll have a clue as to where you are. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, one thing I want to mention is every time you hide, you're taking a risk. It may pay off, it may not, but the most important part is to stay committed to the spot and not move. I can't tell you how many times I thought I'd been spotted by Jason, but I really hadn't. Part of the fun of hiding is risking it all, putting it all on the line. I know I get a nice little adrenaline rush when Jason is just inches from me and all he has to do is turn around and it's game over. That's what makes it so fun. In a moment here, you'll see Jason goes by me several times. I can't tell you how badly I wanted to move. I thought for sure he spotted me, but I just stayed calm and I committed to the spot. And it ended up that he didn't even see me. When you hear Jason destroying a hiding spot, that's the best time to move because he's locked into the animation and he can't look around and he won't be able to see the sound rings that you make. You'll notice that I never stay in one spot for too long. I'm constantly moving trying to stay out of his field of view and I'm also trying to move closer to spots that he's already looked at. This playstyle is more geared towards somebody who wants to test their hiding skills. If your playstyle is more is about avoiding body? Jason and just getting away from him, the rest of the video is just little hiding spots and quick ways to throw Jason off and get away from him. If you're new to hiding and you're not very good at it yet, I suggest finding a pocket knife, then hiding. That way if you do get caught, it's like your get out of jail free card. When I find a pocket knife, that's when I do most of my experimenting with new spots to find out if they work or if they don't, and you can also do this to come up with your own hiding places. You don't see it in this clip, but I got that initial scream out of the way so I can hide. I wedge myself in the corner and Jason walks right by me. You're going to come across two different types of Jasons. One that is relentless in his pursuit of finding you, and others, like this one, who give up fairly easy. So in this clip I know I have a pocket knife, so I'm willing to risk a lot more. I stand behind the door knowing there's a 50-50 shot. He either goes straight down or he turns right into me and gets the grab. I gambled and it paid off. He didn't realize I was standing right there. He easily could have turned into me and got an easy grab on me. I don't show it in a lot of these clips, but I got the scream out of the way. Now I go and I hide. This is one of my favorite spots. I use it all the time. So I'm running from Jason, and I go behind this wall here and tuck into the corner, and Jason walks right by me. Most Jasons will go outside the cabin and use their sense to check if you're still inside the cabin, but this guy didn't. He just pursued other people outside. Like I was saying earlier, a lot of Jasons will go outside the cabin and use their sense to check if you're still inside. This is where a perk like Homebody comes in handy. I personally don't use the homebody perk because I enjoy hiding from Jason over and over again, but if your sole motivation is just to avoid Jason, it's probably a good perk to have equipped. Like I said earlier, I enjoy hiding from Jason over and over again, but maybe you don't. Maybe your sole motivation is just to avoid Jason altogether. If that's the case, I suggest using someone like AJ with good stealth and throw on the homebody perk and use these hiding techniques and you'll be a nightmare for Jason. To get on top of these green boxes, all you have to do is crouch and move forward.
Once I get into this hiding spot, I listen to the footsteps to give me an idea of where I think he might be in proximity to me. Once I feel safe, then I'll move downstairs. Now this is one of my favorite spots for the Jarvis map, because you can see all three points of entry. You can see down the stairs if he were to come, you can see if he came through the doorway to the right, or if he came through the left and then came straight at you. This is one of those spots where you can just relax while he's tearing apart the house. You don't have to worry because you can see all three points of entry. He's not going to be able to sneak up on you. And if you're feeling really brave and Jason happens to come down the stairs, you can continue the hide. You can hear I get the scream out of the way, but my character still says help, oh god. It's rare that this happens, but sometimes it will. Help! Oh god! Even though my character was making a ton of noise, it was such an unusual spot to hide that Jason couldn't figure out where I was. I wait for him to get a little more invested in his search for me before I start running off because I don't want to give him sound rings and give him any clues to where I am. The chair hiding spot is another one of my favorites. It can be unnerving because you feel so exposed, but it does work. This is another one of those spots that feels kind of unnerving because you feel so exposed. Your head's just hanging out there, but I can't tell you how many times Jason has just walked right by me. This one is super risky. I really don't recommend doing this one, but I kind of just did it for fun. This is another one of my absolute favorite spots. I can't tell you how many times I've used it and Jason has just went right by me. This is a spot I don't use very often, but it's an alternative to the other spots I've shown you in Higgins Haven. Unusual hiding spots like this are often my favorite. I'm always experimenting and trying to see if I can come up with different spots, and you can do this too. So I'll get that first initial scream out of the way. Jason's using sense, so he knows I'm somewhere inside the cabin. I wait for him to enter so I can exit. There's something so satisfying about watching a Jason waste his time destroying hiding spots. While you're doing this, wasting his time, you're helping your fellow counselors being able to give them time to fix things. You can set up little traps for Jason. Normally if you close this door, you'll step on the trap if you're facing forward. But if you turn your back to the door and close it, you won't step in the trap. Then when you're hiding, you have a nice little trap set up for Jason if he happens to go in the washroom.
Now this is pretty risky, but say you're in a scenario where you don't have much stamina left. You can hide beside a hiding spot and he may destroy it, and then he's stuck in the animation and then you can get away. Just another example of another hiding spot where you wedge yourself in between a wall. And some more time wasted by Jason. If this were me playing, I would not waste this much time on one person. I'd leave them to last. You're just gonna hurt your overall gameplay committing to this much time on one person. The other counselors could be doing any number of different things like fixing the car, fixing the phone box even though the fuse is on the map there, but things like this are gonna hurt your overall gameplay. So you saw me do some standard hiding there, but in a moment you'll see a technique that I've taught in my other tips and tricks video that I want to show you here. Okay, so I jumped through the window. Another counselor follows me inside, so now that escape route is probably not available to me. I don't have enough time to lock the door, so what do I do? I run straight out. These are the types of tips and tricks you'll see on my previous videos, so if you want to check them out, they're on my channel. As always, thanks for checking out my videos, and if you like my content, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new content. Also off to the side is my Stealthy Chat series, it's just basically a highlight reel of hiding from Jason, and maybe you can get some ideas from those videos too about hiding.